Hi, everybody. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, hello, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning to the channel, what up, y'all? <laughs> so welcome to your readings for the second half of May. Please keep in mind that these are general readings, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Please do not try to fit anything in where you don't feel like it fits, yeah? This is... Uh, these are readings for a lot of people, so just if it doesn't resonate with you, boop, just let it go and move forward. Um, I do want to, uh, first and foremost, I want to thank you guys so, so much for all of your support. I am very, very happy to be able to do this for you all, um, and I, I honestly couldn't be more grateful for the kind words and the feedback that you have been giving me about um, how the readings are resonating with you. I am so grateful that you guys are here and I am lovingly continuing to do this for all of us, yeah? I also want to thank those of you who have donated to the channel. I really, truly appreciate it. I am doing this for free, um, so, you know, any sort of energetic exchange is greatly appreciated, yeah? You know, I'm extending the energy and you extend the energy back when you donate, so, I thank you all so, so, so very much. Let's see, what else? I am available for private readings. You can find uh, the readings that I offer in the de description box below, as well as my email address. If you would like to order a reading, just shoot me an email and let me know how you would like to proceed. Um, please make sure to take a second to read over the different options that are in the description box below. That way you can either choose what you want and we can streamline the order process, or if you're not quite sure, you can just send me an email slightly describing what's going on and usually I'm able to pick up, you know, which reading would be best for you. If you don't have a question, don't worry. Just come forward and we will talk, yeah? I can just channel the energy and see what, give you whatever messages spirit wants to send you, yeah? So I believe that's it. How about we get into these readings? Yeah, let's do it. Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for the second half of May, 15th to the 31st. We are moving ourselves out of Taurus season and we will be moving into your season, Gemini. So if you are in the very beginning, very, a very, very happy birthday to you. Um, yeah, so let's get into it, shall we? <laughs> <clears throat> All right, Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Geminis for this time period of May 15th through the 31st. Thank you so much, Spirit. All righty, Gemini, let's get into this. So I do remember that the title of your video for the first half of the month was Taking Time for Internal Work or something like that. I don't specifically remember exactly what I said. I often channel and then completely forget <laughs> what I was talking about because I was in the moment. So, you know, it doesn't all stick. But let's see what we get for you now, Gemini, yeah? Okay, Gemini, one more shuffle for you. And then we'll get started. All right. Let's see what we've got here, Gemini. Okay. We're starting off with the Nine of Wands. So, Perseverance, yeah? This is my Just Keep Swimming card. Um, you're, you're fighting hard for something, I can feel that. Uh, yeah, you're really, you're really doing the work here. You're really fighting the battle. We have a, the Page of uh, Wands. In this deck, it's known as the Princess of Wands. We also have the Fool in reverse. And we have the King of cups. So what I'm picking up here so far is that um, there's been a battle. It's been a long drawn out fight and that's what the nine of wands is saying to me. But in this case, uh, somebody wants to send an off, wants to send a message. The, um, the page or in this deck, the princess of wands 
to me can either be like a level up, like the pages can either be a level up to a new level of, um, in this case, it would be spiritual reality because the wands suit tends to speak of spirituality. Um, it could, or it could be a message wanting to be sent this, but in the, and in this case for Gemini's here, for whatever we're talking about here, um, and this is either you Gemini, or this is another person that you're connected with. The uh, message wants is needing is, is, is someone is wanting to send a message and it's passionate in nature. It could also be uh, the result of a new spiritual understanding. And so this could be um, a message sent that is driven by spiritual means. We do have the fool in reverse here. OK, so this is telling me that. Um, Either you, Gemini, or the other person that we're talking about here is needing to take a leap of faith. But this energy is blocked. And what I'm feeling here for either you, Gemini, or this other person, um, it's almost like you're afraid to take this, this leap. It's like, in some cases, I am feeling that some of you may be even refusing to do this. Um, now, this message could be sent, could be wanting to be sent to someone that is represented here by the King of Cups. Okay, or it could be you, Gemini, um, that is represented here by the King of Cups. And this to me is, it has nothing to do with gender. It has more to do with energetic resonance. Um, there could be some of you individuals um, as Geminis or the person that we're speaking to for you, Gemini, is, uh, is, uh, is a heavily masculine energy, uh, resonates uh, or relates with masculine energy more than say feminine energy. And in some way, in some cases, somehow this person has reached a King of Cups status, has reached a, a good level of emotional maturity is what I'm hearing. This could be you, Gemini, or this could be the other person. Um, yeah. Okay. Moving forward, we have the Hierophant. So uh, speaking Zodiac in a Zodiac sense, this is the Taurus card. But this is also, I also call this um, the higher self card because uh, our higher selves um, are of the fifth dimension. And this is card number five in the major arcana. We also have ooh, the queen of wands in reverse. So um, there could have been a fight. I am picking that up. Uh, there could have been a queen of wands, uh, someone who is, who, who is fiery and passionate. Um, in this case, I'm not, I'm not really picking up too much manipulative energy. I'm not picking up someone that goes looking for a fight. Um, but what I'm picking up here is something, something turned this queen of wands in reverse. And this person, either it's you, Gemini, or it's someone you're connected with. Um, <laughs> And it came up like this in other readings, for, I believe for the first through the 15th. So this is why I'm saying it like this again. Whoever this queen of wands in reverse or whoever this queen of wands represents, this person torched shit. Like took gasoline and kerosene and threw it all over everything and just torched that shit. Now, why, the reason why I say this was not necessarily mal malicious in nature it's more of they were just driven to do this is because we have the Hierophant in reverse. And what this is, uh, not reverse, I'm sorry, and the Hierophant is upright. So what this is saying to me is this was kind of like, this is what, this was a situation in which this person that is represented here by the Queen of Wands, I'm feeling like in, in many cases was getting guidance from, the, from their higher self that something wasn't right. Um, and then finally, and they weren't necessarily really listening to it. Now, this could be you, Gemini, or this could be the other person. They weren't necessarily really um, listening to that guidance until shit just kind of hit the fan and they couldn't take it anymore and they just torched it. But also I'm getting that there was, they were led to torch it by their higher selves because that needed to happen. Whatever was going on between, you know, the two individuals that we're speaking of here, whatever was going on between you two, just needed to be dismantled and dismantled fast so that some sort of, I want to say reconciliation or even reconnection could be uh, uh, developed. There could be space for it to be developed. Next, we have the sun. Everything is all right. This, um, 
well, this could, again, this could be another fire sign or someone that has a lot of fire in their, in their chart or is just a fiery personality. The sun doesn't, the sun is in this, in the major arcana is, does, is actually the sun in our solar system. It's not tied to a specific zodiac sign. And the five of cups. Okay. So because of this situation that was torched, there is a lot of regret, sorrow. Um, and the sun here is saying that, don't worry, the sun is still shining. Everything is fine. Everything is, is actually much better than you think. Um, and yes, we understand that these three cups have spilled here, but check it out, guys. You've got those two cups behind you. So it would, is, it would really behoove you to dry your eyes, turn around, catch your breath, and pick those two cups up and start moving forward in the direction that you want to go, that you've actually wanted to go for some time is what I'm hearing and picking up. And um, those three cups that have spilled that are, uh, oh, those three cups that have spilled, um, they needed to be spilled. That's, and, and literally it's talking, speaking to the, the situation in which I mentioned, if somebody torched something, it needed to be torched. Okay, those cups needed to spill to make space for brand new cups to be brought in and filled up with some delicious, I don't know, wine, water even, if that's what you prefer, you know, whatever, you know what I mean. <laughs> Moving forward, we have the three of pentacles in reverse. And already this is talking about an imbalance in teamwork in some way. Whether that be with a coworker, a friend, a family member, a lover, whoever, there was, there was, there was a set. I'm getting the sense that there needed to be a level playing field. There needed to be teamwork on all parts, but that wasn't the case in this situation. And we have the Page of Cups and the Princess of Cups. The, the Page is a princess in this deck, um, in reverse. And to me, now this is a this. Okay, here we go. Um, uh, I've got. Uh, I do. I do like to explain as much about the tarot as I can while I'm doing these readings, so that people who are interested in it can start to learn um, and can take my techniques and potentially use them as their own when they when they do their own readings. So I'm going to say this is a this is a chance for me to distinguish between situations in which you know pages for me represent a message being sent or a level up in a sense. Here, the page of cups is talking about a lack of emotional maturity, which was leading to um, the three of pentacles in reverse or this team, this lack of teamwork. Um, I really feel like in this situation, someone lacked the emotional maturity to really look at things the way they truly were instead of seeing them the way they wanted them to be or the way they thought they should be in a sense. I'm getting kind of a flock mentality from uh, this, this situation here with the Three of Pentacles and, and the Page of Cups in reverse. Okay. That's, this is kind of like an identifier. This is kind of saying, you know, what, what was at the core of this relationship or this situation. Moving forward, we have the Magician, Upright, Excellent, Manifestation. I really love it. And we have the Ace of Wands in reverse. But here in, 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 this, in this sense, the Ace of Wands is reversed because it's, it's being blocked. And it's not even like it's really being blocked that much because we have the Magician upright. So what this is saying to me is it's, it's not quite here yet because it's still in the process of manifesting. Okay, so don't rush. I'm hearing have patience with yourself. With yourself, If you are looking, Gemini, if you're looking to reach out, send some sort of message, um, you know, or whatever, reconnect with someone, understand that they're being patient with you as well. There is no need to rush. All right, just let the process happen as it does naturally and organically, okay? And honestly, you don't want to rush it because if you do, then you could potentially, you know, misfire and then you got to like start all over again with the manifestation process. Yeah. Moving forward, we have ah, the two of swords in reverse with mm, the nine of swords. All right. So either you, Gemini, or this person that you're involved with, they can't make a decision. Okay. 
the two of swords reversed here is like literally not being able to make a decision and they can't do it because uh, they can't do it and it, and they're like they're losing sleep over it they're anxious about it they're maybe even having maybe there's nightmares involved um and this is a message tied to what i was just saying before about this process is still in manifestation mode like it's still actively being manifested so don't worry you don't have to do anything right now other than focus on what you've been focusing on lately to even get you to this magician point of view to even get you to accept the idea that there is a new a new way or a new reality that you can experience okay focus on that focus on the process not the end result because we already know what the end result is we already know the desired end result or you wouldn't be in this process of manifestation to begin with right so Focus on the process, not the end result right now, okay? That will help you clear away some of these anxieties, help you chill out a little so you can get some sleep and rest and move forward with this situation, okay? Be patient with yourself. Have compassion for yourself also. Next, we have aha, the Knight of Swords in reverse with oof, the King of Pentacles in reverse. So um, this is a release of energy here is what I'm picking up. The Knight, I'm sorry, yeah, the Knight of Swords in reverse, Gemini is speaking to, you. well, both of these cards are speaking to you, but this is more specifically speaking to you, Gemini. Um, and if, and if Gemini, you're not, we'll call, we'll call, we'll call it the perpetrator, perpetrator in this situation. If you're not the perpetrator in this situation, this is the other person. But for those Geminis who are resonating with, and I, I'm resonating with the quote perpetrator. I'm sorry, that's just the word that came to mind and I'm being told to use it, so I'm using it. Um, this kind of energy is extremely combative, is shoot first, ask questions later, okay? Um, and this energy is being released. And this is part of this brand new inspiration, this new insight. It's not necessarily an aha moment, but it's a new spiritual reality that you're coming to terms with. It's a new understanding of yourself, really. And this um, Knight of Swords energy was really developed by Twisted Masculinity, which is represented here by the King of Pentacles in reverse, which was um, uh, 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 developed by an over emphasis on egotism or egoic beliefs and natures was developed by an over um, emphasis on materialism as well. Um, the way people view you, the way society views you, the way you appear in society, um, that kind of thing. Okay, but these energies are being released. And so this is leading to your you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and yeah, I'm going to say it that the knight, I'm sorry, the page of wants here is not only a message wanting to be sent, but it's also a level up in a spiritual sense because you're coming to terms with um, letting go of egoic point of views, emphasis on egotism and materialism. That's really great, Gemini. And either it's you, Gemini, or it's this other person that you're connecting to. But I really do feel like what I'm picking up right now is that this is for this is for a good amount of actual Geminis, okay? if not most. Next, we have the Five of Wands in reverse, opposing uh, opposing opinions, peanut galleries. Um, and this is something that is being released. Again, so there's a lot of release happening for you, Gemini. That's great. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. So here we go. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck, is methodical, is the planner, is the one that leaves no st stone unturned. Right. And in this case, whoever this whoever will we'll keep calling them the perp, the perpetrator, whoever the perpetrator was in this situation, they are showing up as the Knight of Pentacles and they are not taking outside opinions anymore because most of the because, again, what with this other with all this other influence that was around with, with the King of Pentacles in reverse here, the five of wands is confirming it. There was outside influence. Okay, there was there was influence coming from those that were not within, not from the higher self. Okay, so oh, and I want to point out that um, for whoever perpetrated this situation, um, 
the Hierophant is also speaking to your higher self coming through, helping you gain wisdom around why the search, why this Queen of Wands torched everything. Yeah. Um, and so here with the Five of Wands, the the peanut gallery, the um, the input from sources that are outside of you that are influencing you to act in ways or accept or adopt beliefs and ideas that are not authentic to you, that um, don't really serve your highest good, you're moving away from that. You're releasing all of that. And so the Five of Wands is confirming all of that outside input. It's also confirming um, in, inner mental conflict, like conflict within your own self about, quote, I just heard how the way things should be, you know what I mean? And you're moving slowly through this process. So that, that that is the Knight of Pentacles confirming what I was saying to you about how you're still in the process of manifesting this. You know, you're still, I feel, I really feel like you're like still in the middle, like you're dead center within this manifestation phase and you're slowly plodding along. And in this situation, I'm going to say that careful step by step uh, aspect to it is highly beneficial, highly beneficial, because you're leveling up, Gemini. You're stepping into a new reality, or the person that you're connected with, Gemini, they're stepping into a new spiritual understanding of themselves and of life. So really, it, it is imperative, it would behoove them even, to take this as slow as possible, so that something doesn't get missed, a stone doesn't be, isn't left unturned and then all of a sudden it rears its ugly head again because you've made a mistake in association with something that you missed before, right? We don't want to we don't want to be in this position again, do we, Gemini? So why not take the steps and go through the process to do things in the best way you can? And you already understand that. Or they understand that. So be patient with yourself and just let it happen. Okay? Cuz it's happening. Don't get don't worry, it is happening. And you're making it happen with the magician. So good on you. Finally for you Gemini, we have ah, death in reverse. So this is a transformation. I'm not picking up too much resistance. There is some there definitely is some, but what I'm feeling is not enough resistance to really make cause all that much of a delay. What the for the most part, I, what I want to say about the death in reverse is that it's in reverse because um, again you're going through the process, okay? And that's coupled with the eight of swords, also in reverse. Excellent. You are freeing yourself from a mental prison because Gemini, you or this other person may have felt trapped for a very long time, like literally trapped in a situation in, in, in mentally where it's like, I, 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 I have to just, I have to just comply. I have to just go along with this because I really don't feel like I have another choice, but you do because ultimately it's your life, right? So you always have a choice to accept something or not. So if you don't want to live a certain way, if you don't want to do a certain thing, if you don't want to believe a certain concept, guess what? You don't have to. And that is a lot of what, um, that is a lot of what this transformation is for you. This manifestation, this is a lot of what this manifestation is bringing forward for you. Yeah? Yes! Good on you, Gemini. This is great. This is really, really good. I feel very, very happy for you in this sense. Because, you know, you're really going through the transformation. And I know it's hard. I know it's long and drawn out. But it is necessary. It is absolutely necessary. So please, Gemini, just keep swimming. Yeah? All right, guys. Uh, I wish you a happy birthday because we are moving into your season at the end of May. Right? Yeah, the end of May. Um, and so I look forward to connecting with you all for the first half of June. Can you believe it? We are almost halfway through the year, guys. Whoa. <laughs> all right. Much love to you all. Take care, and I will speak with you soon. Bye.